Hi, my name's Claire. I'm part of the Live Village staff and I work in the social service department. In the UK, I graduated with a degree in psychology in 99 and then started working in a housing association with the homeless, with mentally ill people and with recovering addicts. I also qualified as a social worker and worked in various registered care homes in and around the London area for about eight or nine years. In uh, 2007, I just sensed in my spirit that my season in London and working there was coming to an end and began to uh, seek God about what was next for me. And I began to look at projects in Durban, got in touch with uh, Tear Fund and Soul Action and began to apply. So I eventually came to Durban in 2008 with the intention of just coming for one year and I volunteered in a township, Amawati, in a project, Lungasani in Lele, who just get my hands dirty, get my feet in the dust and see what God could do with a life surrendered to him. During that year, uh, I met Joan and Titch Smith and they began to talk about the village and this huge need in the townships for children who are at risk, children who are really in awful abusive situations who need somewhere safe to go. Unbeknownst to them, God had already begun to talk to me in my quiet times with him about a safe place, about a village. Joan and Titch invited me to come back to come on staff full time to help them with the village, to uh, kind of take forward the residential side of things. All of my experience in London, my experience in the homeless sector of running care homes and helping to set up care homes and systems, getting services in, all of that came into play. I now see that that was all part of God's plan, his preparation for me to be able to come and serve here to serve these children. Today we've got 16 houses uh, with mothers in them. The houses are fully operational and uh, we've got 60 children. Hopefully by the end of next week we'll have nearly 70 children um, who call this home. Children are hidden in the family, that their childhood should be unremarkable, that they should have somewhere safe to go, they should have someone to love them, they should have fun at school, they should be challenged and helped to learn and grow. That, it, that childhood isn't a traumatic experience with neglect and abuse, but actually these children are safe in the family. highlights, there's many, has been uh, this time last year when the mothers, the first mothers moved on to the village and it was such an emotional day as these ladies have made the commitment to lay down their lives for these children and they moved into their houses. Every time a child arrives, every time a child moves in, it's such a highlight, it's such a such an important day for us as the village, for the child moving into family, but also for that child that they don't have to worry anymore, that they're going to have a man that loves them, and they know that every day they're going to wake up and there's breakfast on the table, they don't have to stress, they don't have to worry, they can just be children. God the Father doesn't intend for anyone to be alone, he doesn't intend for anyone to be an orphan. That's true of these children, these precious children that we care for, but it's also true of you and me. And I know that I couldn't be here doing this, doing what I believe and love without the support and, and just the love of those people around me. And then I know that there's people back in the UK who also pray for me, care for me and love me. And I couldn't be here without all of them. For every prayer that is said, for everyone who gives me support, financial support, or just send me an encouraging scripture, I couldn't be here without them. So I just want to say thank you. Thank you to God for this journey I've had, but thank you to all of my friends and family and supporters who have helped me at step by step, piece by piece, and person by person. We are rebuilding these children.